On November 1st, 2003, my younger sister and only sibling was a passenger in an 04 Subaru Impreza WRX that was involved in a multi vehicle accident in Phoenix where the airbag deployed. Her name is Charlene, but we called her Tigger. This is Tigger. She was the only one injured in the accident. Since that time, whenever anyone has asked either my mother or myself how she died, I re our response has never wavered, it has never changed. It has always been a, that we say it was from the airbag. The airbag is what killed my sister. A company makes a bad product when an industry then uses that product and when our safety watchdogs miss the problem, tragedy is the result. Takata took too long to discover the problem with their airbag. Car companies took too long to realize the danger. NHTSA took too long to issue a nationwide recall for driver side airbags. And NHTSA has yet to issue a nationwide recall for the passenger side airbag that may have killed Charlene Weaver. Now is the time for action. What we've seen so far is delay, denial, even deception, and non-disclosure. A failure of testing before these airbags were used to determine whether they were safe and after indications of the defect first became known. A failure to use sufficiently reliable standards in that testing. A failure to disclose potential defects to the government watchdog agency, NHTSA, that was supposed to apply remedies, and to the public. What we've seen here, essentially, is a pattern of concealment and cover-up and the specter of continuing cover-up and concealment. And that's why today's hearing is so important.